Now let's set up the Millermatic 355 using a push-pull gun. We know you're eager to try out your new machine, but before you begin setup, please take a few minutes to review important safety information and tips for the Millermatic 355. And remember to wear appropriate safety gear during setup and welding. First, make sure your machine is powered off. Open the side door. Route the 10-pin control cable through the access hole in the front of the machine. Then install the push-pull gun into drive casting in the front of the machine. Make sure it is completely seated in the drive assembly. Tighten the gun connection to the receptacle with the threaded side knob. The 10-pin plug and receptacle are keyed to ensure proper alignment. Rotate plug to engage the control cable to the 10-pin receptacle. Twist the collar to tighten. While the machine is still off, insert the drive lead into the positive receptacle and turn clockwise to tighten. Next, insert the work cable into the negative receptacle and turn clockwise to tighten. The machine is now set to DCEP or reverse polarity. For aluminum welding, you will need to use 100% argon shielding gas. Connect the free end of the gas hose to the MIG solenoid on the back of the machine. Now, configure the drive roll. Use U-Groove drive rolls for feeding aluminum wire. To install the U-Groove drive rolls, remove the 035 and 045 V-Groove drive rolls that come with the machine and replace with U-Groove drive rolls that will match the aluminum wire diameter being used. The Millermatic 355 is compatible with wire spool diameters up to 12 inches. Next, install the spool of wire to allow the wire to feed from the top of the spool. Fasten spool hub nut to secure wire spool. Adjust the wire hub tension nut to allow the wire spool to rotate freely. Pull the wire from the top of the spool and feed it through the inlet guide and close the pressure lever to start Set both drive roll tensioners to two, then turn the rear tension knob a half turn counterclockwise to reduce the chance of bird nesting between the two sets of drive rolls. If you encounter bird nesting during welding, reduce the tension. If you experience wire slipping, increase the tension. Check to make sure you have the proper contact tip for the wire diameter you've selected. Then prepare the gun by removing the gun nozzle and contact tip and turn your machine on. Now, hold the trigger of your push-pull gun. After three seconds, the machine will enter jog mode, where the output and shielding gas will be turned off and wire feed speed will increase. Or use the jog button on the machine to perform the same function. Jog speed can be adjusted to your desired setting. Reinstall the contact tip and nozzle. Finally, check the drive roll pressure on the push-pull gun to ensure a trouble-free weld. Use wire tension control on the side of the push-pull gun to set the drive roll tension. For 4000 series wire, set the control to 4XXX and set it to 5XXX for 5000 series wire. Place your gun tip over an insulated surface like this wood block and feed the wire until it feeds consistently and curls on the wood without slipping. Snip the wire off, then close the cover on the gun and the side door on the machine. The Millermatic 355 is compatible with Miller Alumapro, Alumapro Lite and Pistol Pro push-pull guns and also the MK Python push-pull gun. To select the desired push-pull gun, Press the Setup button. Next, press the System button. Use the left knob to select PPG type. Rotate the right knob to select Gun Model being used. The Aluma Pro, Pistol Pro and Python guns do not require a SUP value. The Aluma Pro Lite requires a SUP value to optimize wire delivery performance. To enter the sub value, ensure the Aluma Pro Lite is selected. Press the back button. 
rotate the left encoder to select SUP. The SUP value can be found on the base of the Illumipro light gun. Rotate the right encoder to enter the SUP value from the gun. Press the home button to save the SUP value. To use Auto Set Elite, press Auto Set button and the button will illuminate. Then select the wire type, diameter, and material thickness. Or to use manual mode, press Auto Set button to disable Auto Set feature. To adjust your voltage and wire feed speed, remember the wire feed speed control is on the handle of the gun or on the front of the machine. As a guide, the electronic parameter chart can be accessed while in manual mode by pressing the P chart button. View introduction video for more information on this feature. Setting up the Millermatic 355 to weld aluminum with a push-pull gun is as easy as that.